guys, it's Alex. organization video for you guys today. So as a lot of you know, I had watched the home edit over the Christmas break and I actually completely home edited my bathroom. I was also planning on doing my whole kitchen as well. Um, I am just saving up because honestly buying all the containers and things can get quite pricey. Um, but there's just one area in my life right now that needs some organization and I cannot wait to buy the special containers. I need to make do with what I have now and that is my fridge. So for anybody who follows me on Instagram, you know I've done about three HelloFresh meals now. So that was my very first HelloFresh box. The one thing I did not know about HelloFresh is it actually is a weekly subscription. So after Shane and I bought all of our groceries and filled up our fridge, to my surprise, we received another HelloFresh box. Um, so I have since gone on the app and kind of figured out how I can skip a box each week. I did not know this. And yes, I was charged for that extra box. So that is a little annoying to me. I do have to say for anybody thinking about HelloFresh, be sure you check out on the website to make sure um, if you signed up for the weekly subscription or if you have automatically been rolled into the subscription process, make sure you're going on there every week and skipping your box if you don't want a HelloFresh box. So looking at everything in my fridge, you can see I've kind of jam packed everything in here. Um, I also haven't cleaned it in a really long time. So I'm hoping when I take things out, I can actually get in the fridge and um, clean out a lot of the drawers and any of the shelves that maybe have some spills or or some unsightly items on there. So the first thing I'm going to do, just like the bathroom edit, was take everything out of the fridge. I'll do a bit of a clean and then I'll put everything in and just kind of reorganize it. any of my Canadian subscribers or viewers on here, of course you have to have Clamato in the fridge. My husband and I, oh, and Smokey, um, are obsessed with Caesars. So yes, we always have at least two Clamatos or one giant Clamato in the fridge um, to have our Caesars. <music> I actually previously did have this one container from when Shane and I were living in a rental unit. Um, so that is one container that I don't have to go out and buy. You can just see on the side here, I still do have the price tag on. So that is an $18 container. I'm going to take my cleaning products now and actually just do a full clean of the fridge. The one thing I should mention that I left in there was my cans. This shelf stays very clean and it's specifically meant for cans. So nothing else is going there. So I am just going to leave my bubblies there and get to cleaning. So now my fridge is completely clean. I'm going to start the process of throwing out anything that is expired um, and then organizing everything to go back in my fridge. I did actually lower this shelf. I've always found that this space needed to be a little bit higher. So I pulled this one down just to see if I could make it work. If not, I may have to pop it back up and simply just not use that extra shelf. But I would really love if I can get my things organized enough so that I can have three layers of storage. That would be ideal. So 
I'm going to try and make that work. What I'm going to be using, since I didn't go to the store and get a bunch of containers for this organization process, I do actually have a lot of food storage containers. They're glass, and then I do actually keep all of my pickle jars as well, so I'm hoping that I can potentially use those jars to store different things inside my fridge as well. <laughs> Okay, so while I was filming that yesterday, of course my camera died. So I did have to complete the full organization off camera, but I'll kind of explain the process and the different choices I made to fully organize all of the produce and other items in my fridge. So I did keep all of the packaging that came off, everything that did go in my fridge. Do you have to be in the video? Do you have to make an appearance in the video? All the time you have to be on film. Hey. So one of the things I absolutely hate is the egg carton containers. So Shane and I go through so many eggs, so we actually buy the bigger. They are quite flimsy and they take up a huge spot in the fridge. So what I've actually done is assorted all of my eggs into a bowl. I really like this technique because they look aesthetically more pleasing and I actually find they're a lot easier to get to than having them wrapped up in the egg carton. Next, my least favorite things are the packaging for grapes and strawberries um, or any type of similar berry. I just find they take up so much space and they're not very sturdy so they tend to get squished into the back of the fridge or shoved into a drawer. So these I wanted to get rid of and I put my grapes and my strawberries in glass containers. I was actually very excited that these fit in one of my drawer compartments. Because of that I was kind of able to create almost like a breakfast center. Next is a plastic container that all of my cherry tomatoes fit in. Same thing as the grapes, it's flimsy, it's very easy for it to just get shoved into the corner of the fridge. So I actually did put all of my cherry tomatoes in a little glass container as well. The last plastic container that I absolutely cringe at and that I hate is the one that any of your leafy greens come in. Same scenario, it's very easy to get shoved in the back of the fridge and because it's so flimsy anything that you put on top tends to crush whatever veggies you do have in here and I just find they don't last as long. So the leafy greens and the broccolini I did put in glass containers and then I did snap the lids on them. This allowed me to more easily stack them on top of each other. Next are all of these very thin produce bags. Even when we're shopping, if I can, I actually try not to put anything in these when I'm at the store. I'd rather just throw the produce in my cart and wash it when I get home um, than have to deal with all of these. So a good trick that I have found is, again, instead of wrapping that up and sticking it in the fridge, where it's really easy for your produce to get lost when you can't see it um, and then not used so it perishes faster, I actually really like the solution of putting carrots, green onions, and other herbs that typically you would keep in that plastic bag. I actually really like the idea of putting them in jars with some water standing up. I think, again, aesthetically this is quite pleasing and I do think this helps them last a bit longer when they do have some water to sit in. And and then lastly, we have all of the HelloFresh items. So as I mentioned before, I was not expecting this box and we did a huge grocery shop, which is kind of what prompted this whole fridge organization technique. Because I had to store all of this extra food, I needed a simpler way to see everything and make sure that everything would fit in my fridge. So I'm really happy that I did reconfigure the shelves. I now have this section here that is specifically for any of our HelloFresh items that we do receive. I do have this one fridge container here which is great to house any of the meat products that we received in our box and then it doesn't have to sit in my cheese drawer. All right you guys that concludes my fridge organization tour. I really hope that this video gives you guys some inspiration. Personally I had seen images of other fridges that looked so nice and I honestly didn't think that it would be something that I could achieve so I was really excited that this came together as well as it did and I didn't even need to go out and buy a lot of food storage containers. I simply used all of the the Pyrex dishes and things that I already had and frankly wasn't using. Now that we're working from home, I'm packing less lunches, so these items were literally just sitting in my cupboard. I will be featuring this on my blog as well as my Instagram, so be sure to click and follow along there. As well, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and share. And of course, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't had a chance already to check out the rest of my page, I encourage you to do so, as I do have plans to continue this organization 
organizational series. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.